Hello everybody and today we're going to have a look at this amazing book the complete book of the dinosaur Joseph Wallace so I recently picked this up from a free store and I was really really excited because I had a slimmed down version of this book and which is called Dinosaurs A to Z which let's have a look at the contents which um, is part two of this book so this is more of the fleshed out version so yeah what happened was when I was um, young I was in Canada similar to my other book that I posted not too long ago the big book of dinosaurs I had purchased the dinosaurs A to Z in um, Canada again in my childhood I was about I would have been about 11 years old brought all the way back to Australia cherished the book throughout my whole childhood and then yeah a few years ago when uh, I moved into my current residence it all went to the op shop with all my other dinosaur books so when I saw this I was just absolutely thrilled because it's another part of my childhood that I was able to have back this is quite an amazing book it is a product of its time some really nice artwork here in here and look at that cover you can't get any more vintage than that really really awesome you know with Dimetrodon there and Stegosaurus so come and join me We'll have a look at this book. There's a lot of good paleo artists in here. Some of the some of my favourites like Dark Henderson and Gregory Rip Paul. So let's have a look at this amazing book and go back to 1989. Firstly, no copyright intended. All artwork belong to their owners. The complete book of the dinosaur. Joseph Wallace, and it's a really really awesome cover page dedication for my most careful readers all whom are less than four feet tall I was less than four feet tall when I owned this book got a tri Triassic Swamp there with Doug Henderson artwork And again, Doug Henderson, that's just an amazing piece of art that freaked me as a little kid when I first saw that. Look at that raging storm and look at these poor Brachiosauruses just panicking, trying to get away. And this one left behind, which soon is going to get engulfed by that storm. Amazing. Just simply amazing. some early life here Dimetrodon by Bob Walters I actually like that they it's got the name of the artists and again Doug Henderson I could just tell by his style and we've got those uh, iguanodons got the family tree which is probably changed now Gregory S. Paul, the Apatosaurus. Yeah, we've got, what's that? Um, might not be T-Rex, could be like a Albertosaurus or something, I'm guessing. Bob Walters. Who knows? Nice little piece of artwork. And look at that. Amazing Edmontosaurus. Look at that swamp, murky. And again, some more Doug Henderson. Look at the lighting. Jeez. I've got to, I've got to show this closer. Just look at the lighting. Look at the trees. 
Just the legs do not work. One of my favorite paleo artists. Now we're going through some different groups of dinosaurs. I've got some pretty, oh, I've got a little pecky there. Some stegosaurus is there. It's like we're, it's like you're just hiding behind these logs somewhere and just watching them from the distance, kind of like the Lost World Jurassic Park. Yeah, reminds me of that. We've got Gregory there. What are those? Pentaceratops, maybe? Yeah, Pentaceratops. He's on these Bob Walters. Got it. Triceratops there, that's just ready to pounce. I remember seeing um, Gregory S. Paul's Dilophosaurus, and yeah, I was used to the retro vintage Dilophosaurus, you know, the kind of like with the tail on the ground in upright position. And he actually shows, displays Dilophosaurus like really active and agile. Like when I first saw that, I just, yeah, it was so different to me. It was like alien. I go, no, Dilophosaurus shouldn't be like that, like ag agile like that. That's a famous picture. That's in one of the museums, I think. Please let me know. Um, yeah, Natural Museum in Canada. Let me know if you've seen this um, in real life or if it's even still there. Yeah, that's showing extinction right there. Quite bleak. I'll bring this close up. Just can't see it. Some prehistoric mammals. Not too much on the mammals, just a few pages. And this is what I had dinosaurs A to Z. Look at that. That's a huge guanodon, I guess. Who knows? Those T Rexes look smaller. That's what I used to think anyway when I first saw that as a kid. So we've got dinosaurs A to Z here. Nothing special with these pictures. They're just kind of drawn and they're kind of color coded for what groups they're in. But, oh yeah, that's another famous picture, the Splitosaurus. Seen that in many books. Awesome. Crocodile, prehistoric crocodiles just trapped himself. See how cool is that? That's before we found the rest of the skeleton of Dinosaurus. So that's why I like looking at these old books. Sometimes you, there's mysteries that have been solved. Wow, look at that. National Museum, that again in Canada. Ottawa, Canada. That's just... Look at those redwoods. Looking for some rats, or not rats, but little mammals, or lizards, or in, little anything. And we've got some iguanodons. Cool. 
Carophosaurus, really camouflaged. Back in the 80s, Carophosaurus had a lot of love, and then it was all Parasaurolophus after that. Getting more of the love. Amaziosaurus, nesting, good mother. He's one from Australia. Look, Nano Tyrannus. Remember seeing that? Go, what the hell? What's a Nano Tyrannus? Yeah, that kind of freaked me out as a kid. It looks like T Rex. Like, obviously, it's part of the family. But as a kid, when you discover new dinosaurs, it kind of blows your mind. Right. So we're getting through a good amount of species here. Another one from Doug Henderson. Again, the lighting at, at the background, a different angle, seeing the sauropods from behind. It's artwork that you could have framed in your house, in my opinion. It's it's so good. The way he's able to get the lighting effects and the angles from where you're viewing the dinosaurs is just amazing. Look at that, Spinosaurus, old school Spinosaurus. And then we've got an old school T-Rex, I mean... Stegosaurus, Supersaurus, oh, knock the camera, oh, silly me, um, that's a nice one as well of the Triceratops, I just, yeah, really nice coming out of the water, and then you're just lazing around. Ultrasaurus, is that even viable these days? <laughs> when he was creating this, it's like using your imagination. Like imagine if some dinosaurs gave birth, you know, they didn't even lay eggs. You know, obviously this is not accurate, but it's still interesting, you know. And again, as a kid seeing this, like what, what the hell, like with the... With that, and yeah, interesting. Yeah, we've got some fossils, so we get to less interesting things now. Then, has anyone found fossils in real life? I never have. I'd like to one day let me know. all these different museums which is nice oh, we've got the, the bone wars you wouldn't want to bump into those guys on a on a fossil site they still got to make a movie of that the bone wars there they are, Drinker and Marsh. Ah, oh, actually, yeah, I want to show you something in a sec. King Kong Godzilla, because I remembered. Is that Fantasia? And a bit of Harry Harryhausen there. Bit of Ray Harryhausen. Oh, that movie, The Secret. Of the Lost Legend, that was a good movie. Loved that movie as a kid. And what I wanted to show you, so I don't have that. I had one of those when I was young. I had the Styracosaurus, but what have we got there? We've got a classic. I've got him right here. I still got to review him. Still got to review one of the most famous Trinosaurs of all time. There it is. The Dormay. That's 
friggin' awesome when I saw that in the book. And yet, yet to review this bad boy. We will, we will get to it eventually. I've got another version of this, which isn't even Dorme. Like a knockoff Dorme. So, that's one for the future. And we've got some more dinosaur toys there. What are the, those famous ones? Are they the Mark? Mark um, British Museum ones, I think. So, we've got some books there. So, yeah, I really like that, how they had that. And just got the index and all that. So, yeah, a great book. One from my childhood. Not this complete version. It was a bit more slimmed down. An excellent, excellent book. One of my favourites. And I'm a bit biased because it was nostalgia. But great book, great artwork from one of my favourite Palais artists in there. Doug Henderson. So, yeah, comment below if you read this book. Uh, as an adult or as a kid growing up and I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you all next time